We've been dealing with a surge in gun violence here in Hampton Roads, but a Newport News nonprofit is working to change that. This foundation is making a mark, providing communities with alternatives to violence and trading weapons for solutions. I lost my brother, Rocky Brooks, October the 11th, 2018, and um, he died at 27. He was gunned down in the Newport News area. I took the love I have for him. And I said, we're going to save that same community. Healing, evolving, and building. His name was Rocky. His friends call him Heat, and they spelled it H-E-B. There is something that is very traumatic about losing a loved one to gun violence, the way that they are snatched from you. So as you take one family and heal that family, that family passes it on and heals somebody else, it becomes a community. Shonda Costin is the nonprofit's COO and VP. Her mother, Mary Jackson, is president. Together, they're replacing violence with progress in Newport News. Looking at all those different issues that the community face, and they may feel like there's no way out. And so we give them basically a tool to put in their toolbox, community redevelopment through our basketball camp, as well as our uh, camp healing. Mary says it's all to save people and families trying to cope with loss. A lot of times they be thinking about, I don't want to live anymore. A lot of them don't know how to move to the next step. So we're here to encourage them to move forward. The foundation is helping make communities stronger and safer, something Shonda says Rahib would be proud of. They don't get to take your legacy like this. They don't get to define your ending or what you're remembered by. And establishing the foundation, it was my way of snatching that back from them, that his name will be great and it won't be in that way. The foundation is hosting a 10-month mentorship program called A Better Way. It's for Newport News residents ages 18 to 24 that have been affected by gun violence. You can sign up now through October 21st, and the program is scheduled to start in November. To learn more, visit thehebfoundation.org. And if you know a person or group making a mark in the community, send me an email.